Hello everyone, it's the Independent Kid, and today my presentation is about animals in Southeast America. Snakes, lizards, mayflies, and more. Just a note before I start my presentation, uh, the pictures in my presentation are in order of how I observed them in the wild, not in alphabetical order or any other order. Let's go. This is a beautiful butterfly. This is a black swallowtail butterfly. When they're caterpillars, they're actually called parsley worms because that's what they eat. The type is common in South Carolina. This is a stinging scorpion. They're called the Southern Unstriped Scorpions. Their sting hurts as much as a bee or a wasp sting, and it lasts for 30 minutes to an hour. Their sting is not fatal unless you are allergic to scorpion venom. This is a scary spider. This is most likely the Carolina wolf spider. They eat small rodents or large insects. And I believe this one's a baby. If it is a wolf spider, they aren't very aggressive, but the venom from these species has caused necrosis lesions to those that have been bitten. Again, if it is the uh, Carolina wolf spider, it is the South Carolina state spider. Here's an enlarged photo so you can see the wolf spider a little bit better. This is a creepy cicada. This guy is called Neotisipin canicular cicada. The hear sound is a high-pitched buzz which later fades. These guys can also be found in the United States and Canada. This is a wicked wasp. It's actually a weevil wasp. That's because they feed on weevils and beetles. The female weevil wasp actually bite and therefore paralyzing their prey. Then they put it in the cell that they've created and when the wasp larvae hatches, it feeds on the free food, which is the weevil. This is a delightful dragonfly. It's actually a female weedle skimmer dragonfly. The adults are active from April to November. They eat small insects from a high place. Their larvae actually hatch in water. Their larvae have special mouth parts, which grab and pull in the prey. This is a sunny skink. They're actually a juvenile five-line skink. They are very common lizards, and their predators are raccoons, snakes, and hawks, while their prey are metaboles, eastern blood-sucking cone noses, and horned fungus beetles. If you've ever seen a horned fungus beetle before, you will notice it looks a lot like Pinsir the Pokemon. This is a turtly turtle, one of the cutest additions to my slides. This is an eastern box turtle. They eat snails, but kiwi in captivity. These guys can also get over 100 years old, which is a long, long, long life. Anyway, their scientific name is Terrapini carolina carolina, not to be confused with a similar species, Terrapini carolina. This is a slithery snake. It's actually an eastern rat snake. It got caught in my mom's veggie garden. And these guys are also known as chicken snakes. That's probably because they eat chicken sometimes. You guys should ask one how raw chicken tastes with feathers and a beak. This is a buzzing bee. It's actually a common eastern bumblebee. They can fly a lot higher than other bees. That's because they have a furry coat, which you can kind of see that fuzzy yellow thing on its back. It keeps it warm when it's high up, kind of like an aviator jacket if you've ever seen one. This is a mysterious mayfly. Um, that's because I'm not sure what type of mayfly it is. That's mainly because there are 185 documented species of mayfly right here. Fish also eat these guys. When they appear near lakes, rivers, or streams, that means the water quality is good. When they do not, that means the water is bad quality. This is a weird wasp. These guys are actually called sand wasps. That's because they burrow in sand. They only hover close to you because they eat the flies that are attracted to you during summer, not because of aggression. They are so non-aggressive that you can actually hand feed them with living flies if you happen to catch a living fly, which is kind of tough. This is our little lizard. It's actually a Carolina animal lizard. These guys can change colors. They're green when they want to mate and they're brown when they're normal. These guys are also very, very territorial and will bite if needed to defend their territory. This is a hoax hummingbird. Anyone know what hoax means? Well, hoax means fake. And this guy's actually a hummingbird clear wing, which is actually daytime moth. They pretend to be hummingbirds and pollinate orchids and also like to drink nectar, just like in this photo. So if you wanna figure out if you have a hoax hummingbird or a real hummingbird, 
Well then, take your camera, take a picture, zoom in, and you'll see if it looks like a furry shrimp with wings, it's a hoax hummingbird. If it looks like a small bird with a really long beak, it's a hummingbird. This is a blazing butterfly, also known as an eastern tiger swallowtail. This is a female butterfly. Now I'll tell you the telltale signs of a female swallowtail. Well, the telltale signs are blue, right there. You see in the red circle, some people say it's blue and orange, but I only see blue. Whatever those spots happen to be, the males do not have those. This is a daily dragonfly. It's actually a male widow skimmer dragonfly. Not a female one, but a male one. These guys live near warm waters, and as you may recall, the water is necessary for the dragonfly larvae. That's why they live nearby. So what makes this guy a male is it has white on the wings, as you can see right there. Thanks for watching my presentation. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Bye!